Researchers continue to watch a massive rift in Antarctica likely to create a Delaware-sized iceberg. Alex Newman, PRI.org. Iceberg in Antarctica the size of Delaware about to break off into the ocean. HuffingtonPost.com, Lydia O'Connor. A crack in the Antarctic ice shelf grew 17 miles in the last two months. NewYorkTimes.com. John Kerry, Buzz Aldrin. Conservation Minister Maggie Berry, Justice Minister Amy Adams, who is MP for Sulin near Christ Church. Russian, pra- Russian Patriarch Kirill. Now, in this article by Lydia O'Connor, Huffington Post, let me read this to you real quick. The rift lengthened by 10 miles in December and by an additional 6 miles in the first three weeks of January. If it stretches 12 more miles, an iceberg will break into the Weddell Sea the size of Delaware. Larsen Sea is the northernmost major ice sheet in Antarctica. If this piece, along with the rift, detaches, it will be among the 10 largest icebergs ever recorded. While while calving of icebergs is a typical phenomenon, scientists monitoring the rift said a break would leave the 21,000 square mile Larsen Sea at its most retreated position. Now, I'm going to share some images with you that will give you an idea of the size of this thing, actually. Just the width in and of itself. The British Antarctic Survey took some footage, and here is just one image right here where you can see a 15-foot wide rift. This is unprecedented. Now, I know there's a lot of conspiracy about there being alien shapeshifters in Antarctica, but in reality, there probably is a lot of stuff out there, such as structures, pyramids, technologies, maybe bacteria, viruses, stuff that's been suppressed for thousands of years because of this ice that is now pretty soon, probably, maybe even within the next hundred years, all this ice could be gone. This could be into the sea because the way that this is going on right now, let me share some more, some more images with you here. This is going to give you an idea. Now, this is on the PRS.org. Researchers continue to watch a massive rift in Antarctica likely to create a Delaware-sized iceberg. You can see how much ice loss since 1960. So in 48 years, enormous amounts of ice have dissipated and are gone now into the sea. I'm thinking to myself, why is there not enormous amounts of geoengineering, stratosphere aerosol injections going on in Antarctica? Or maybe there is, we don't know about it. I mean, why are they doing it out here in the U.S.? when we don't have giant icebergs like that, unless you're in Glacier, Montana or something, or obviously Alaska has a lot of glaciers and stuff, and Washington State, Mount Rainier, I get that. The size of Delaware, 2,491 square miles. Now, if you zoom in here, this is on Google Maps. You can see some images have higher resolution than others, but... Here's a couple of the bases out there in Antarctica. You can zoom in here and just kind of get an idea of the depth. This is remarkable. Now, if you look at the size of Antarctica, 5.405 million square miles. And it's virtually uninhabited, ice-covered landmass. And if you take the size of the U.S. and combine it with Mexico, it's still smaller than Antarctica. What lies beneath? Now, if you've followed the X-Files, I've watched almost every single episode. I need to go back and view the ones that I've missed. But there's multiple episodes that revolve around Antarctica. And one that includes Mulder's sister, but it's not really his sister. It's a cloned hybrid from his abducted sister, the flying saucers, the gray goo. That gray goo is spooky, and I think there might be something to it. In my opinion, 
that gray goo that's often talked about in films and conspiracy realms, there's probably bits and pieces of truth in the aspect of it being an artificial type intelligence. And I've also heard the fact that it's a full-on life force, and that's what it uses as a parasitic medium, essentially. It could be both. It could be from a specific entity or source that uses that artificial construct to allow it to sit dormant for millions, billions of years to travel through time and space with very little energy because it's so small. You could you could put it in a gallon jug, essentially, in a small spaceship slash rocket or something and, and, and shoot it out into the cosmos. And these are all just things going through my head here. But connecting the dots, thinking of the possibilities, what are they finding out there in Antarctica? And I know there's that tweet supposedly by Buzz Aldrin where he said, we need to fear something in Antarctica. I took a screenshot of that, but when I talked to Cliff High about it, he said that that wasn't verified. So I don't know. What do you guys think? What in the heck is going on in Antarctica? And are the Germans there, and have they been there for, let's say, 70 or more years? I found some declassified CIA documents that talked about the patents of these German flying saucer discs from the 40s. So I'll probably do a podcast on that here shortly. Question everything. Be the change you want to see. 